Hey everybody, today we're looking at the new Asus Tough Sabertooth X79 motherboard from the Tough series. As you may know, the Tough series is all about better cooling. The motherboards have uh, stronger thermal properties than mainstream boards. They have better cooling so they can handle higher temperatures, which is perfect for any kind of intensive use that you have in mind, especially if you want to leave your PC on. 24-7 uh, or something like that. The Sabertooth X79 is the latest entry in the series. It comes after the uh, Sabertooth P67 and P55 which were previous chipsets and were also very successful as I'm sure this one will be. As you can see it's got the new Intel LGA 2011 socket for the uh, high-end X79 chipset Sandy Bridge E CPUs. Uh, it's ready for PCI Express 3.0 and it supports the, the highest end i7 CPUs as we said. Uh, some of the, the main points that we want to highlight about this board are the thermal technologies that ASUS puts on it. The first one being thermal armor which we'll show you in a minute. That's better heat protection and removal for a better performance. Thermal radar we can't really show you because it's 12 embedded sensors on the motherboard in different parts of the motherboard uh, for real-time temperature readings and fan adjustments, fan speed adjustments. There's the new DigiPlus power control, digital, digital voltage regulation, which gives you better precision and more efficient energy or power supply, I should say. And of course, the tough components which are named after the series and are basically military grade chokes or and uh, chokes and capacitors and MOSFETs. These are components that can stand more heat and just are longer lasting. And of course there's the X79 related features that just came out like Asus SSD caching which uses SSD and hard drive, mechanical hard drive uh, hybrid uh, technology to accelerate your PC and result in better, faster performance. There's USB 3 Boost, which is USB 3 with UASP support. Works faster than standard USB 3 if you have a compatible device hooked up. And USB BIOS Flashback. Uh, that's flashing your BIOS with just a USB storage device and standby power. You don't even need to have memory or a CPU on the board. It's it's very convenient if you want to flash your bias. Okay, let's uh, let's open this up. Nice plastic cover. Let's get this out of the way. Tight packaging, as it should be. Voila. This is the motherboard right here. Let me just put it here like this. Okay, hopefully you can see all of it now. Um, first, let me point out the thermal armor technology, which I mentioned earlier. That has two components here and here. This is a cooler for the south bridge. It has a fan and a heat sink inside to keep the south bridge cooler. This one has another fan right here and a shield for the rear I.O. as well as another heat sink right here. The fan, the extra fan that you get inside just generates better airflow and pulls heat out of the, uh, the case and drags heat away from the heat pipe that's right here. So it keeps the chipset cooler and generally just lowers temperatures inside the case. Uh, LGA 2011 socket, three PCI Express 2.0 slots, but it's ready for PCI Express 3.0 when the time comes. Uh, nice heat sink right here, kind of metallic. I guess it gives it a bigger surface area for more heat dissipation, um, and probably the one of the most attractive and appealing things about this board is the 8 dim memory design. You get 8 memory slots 
four here, four here. Maximum 64 gig quad channel DDR3. Nice. Other than that, it's a very nice motherboard. You get SATA 6 gig, you get USB 3, everything you need. The sensor is embedded in different parts of the motherboard for very accurate temperature readings and fan speed adjustments. The G Plus VRM, uh, digital power conversion and power supply basically. The power circuitry has, you know, the voltage regulation is digital so it's more efficient and you can adjust voltages with greater precision if you want to overclock or otherwise tune the board in the system. Very nice motherboard. Nice Sabertooth X79 with the tough logo right here. Yep. Nice and tough. Should be able to handle a lot. Highly recommended if you're concerned about heat and are doing more than garden variety computing. This is definitely a tougher and more ruggedized version of the X79 design uh, compared to mainstream X79 or any other chipset compared to mainstream motherboards. The Tough series is definitely more durable and long lasting. So give it a thought and see if it's the right motherboard for you. Thanks. Talk to you later.